How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we have the HTC 10 and I'm going to show you guys how to wipe data factory set the device. So there's a couple ways to do this and I'm going to show you the, I'm going to talk to you about the right way but I'm also going to show you the wrong way. So um, if you are wanting to sell your device or you just want to start fresh on it, the best way to wipe data factory set it is this way. You come in here and you go to backup and reset here in settings right here to factory data reset now if you go to factory data set it'll come up and you just go ahead and wipe data factory set the device and the device will come right back up and it'll be like new and you'll have to set it all up again and you'll erase all your accounts and all your information off the phone okay that's the best way um, this way of resetting will not trip factory reset protection uh, and if you don't know what that is, you should Google search it because it is a problem that a lot of people are having. Now I'm going to show you the manual way. So if we were power off the device, we'll go ahead and power it down. And you can do this a couple different methods. And the first one I'm going to show you is through download mode, then to bootloader mode, then to recovery. So the first way is to go into uh, download mode. So to do that, you're going to hold volume down and power. And once you see the device boot, let go of power, just keep holding volume down. And this will boot you into download mode. It does take a little bit to do, but should get right in there. There we go. This is download mode. And then you want to do, you got to reboot. This looks just like stock recovery, which is funny, but you got to reboot into bootloader. So hit power, scroll with volume up and down, then hit power to select that. And this will reboot you into bootloader mode. And then from here, you can see there's a boot to recovery right there boot to recovery and then you can hit power and it'll boot into recovery or we can power down and we can actually boot directly to bootloader mode uh, it's a little bit harder so you hold both volume up and down and then power and wait just a second one two three four let go of power and keep holding those other two and you can see that boots directly into bootloader mode um, so now we can easily get into recovery so once in recovery you hit that it'll select it recovery with power we will select it and it'll boot into recovery now what you're gonna see in recovery is a little confusing and a little bit complicated um, but you actually have to you'll see it's got this like warning Let's see if it comes up here I booted to recovery there it is okay see the little warning so you're like, oh, how does this help me, right? Well, what you do is you go ahead and you hold power and then hit volume up. See it? You hold power, then hit volume up, and boom. Now you're in Android Recovery. You can see it right there at the top, and you have all of your options. All right. So to wipe data factory set from Android Recovery or Stock Recovery, uh, you're just going to scroll down here until you see Wipe Data Factory Reset. So I'm going to go ahead and select that with power. And then, are you sure you want to do this, yes or no? I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And this will go ahead and wipe data factory reset the device. When the device comes back online, what I'm going to end up with is I'm going to have a device that I have to set up everything again. i got to go through the setup wizard and put in my email account and everything. Now, if you do this, and there's an account already synced to the device and you do it manually like I'm showing you here and it had a password on it you are going to have to know the email and password of what was synced to this device previously if you don't know it it'll trip you out on factory set protection and you won't be able to get into the phone again unless you find a bypass method which I've done a lot of videos on so they're probably out there probably even a way to do it on this device right here which I've not investigated yet but just wanted to let you guys know how to do this, how to manually do this. You might get stuck in a problem where your phone just doesn't boot up for some reason. Something went haywire and you just have to manually factory reset it like I showed you here through bootloader mode or download mode to bootloader mode and then into recovery. Um, but those are the button combinations and really good to know, especially if you do some custom ROMs and things like that. Like I'm going to be showing you guys here shortly, putting Torp recovery in. You need to know how to manually boot into recovery to restore devices or wipe data factory set or any of those different things. So I'm going to let this thing boot up, just show you we're on the welcome screen that this device has been reset and we'll go from there. One quick note, um, reset devices take 
quite a while to um, first boot up. A lot of times they'll do Android is upgrading and this first boot after a wipe data factory set could be anywhere up to 10 minutes. Right here you can see the Android is upgrading screen. So just be patient after wipe data factory setting your device. All I gotta say is lickety split. So you can see Android is finishing up and the finishing boot. Now what's funny is, and it says finishing boot, it looks like it's gonna do a boot loop here because you're gonna see the HTC logo again. <laughs> and it's like, wait, no, that's not right. And then, okay, it'll boot right into the setup wizard as you can see right there. So here you go. You are completely wiped data factory reset your device, all your Google account, all your downloaded applications, everything's removed, is put back to stock applications. Um, what comes in the phone when you purchased it. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video here on wipe data factor reset through stock recovery. Also learning how to boot into download mode, bootloader mode, and stock Android recovery, of course. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on this device, and I'll have more very, very soon. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.